Welcome to DSEI Insights in Action. We are still in Dubai on a Global Freight Summit hosted by uh, our member DP World. And uh, I have a pleasure here uh, to have with me Ian Zhang, uh, the co-founder and the CEO of Gino Group. Welcome, Ian. Hi, Michael. Thank you. Thank you for having me here. So we promise that uh, this series will be about uh, innovation and it will be about breakthrough. So in that sense, uh, Ian uh, is working with the Gino Group on something like that. So the first question I would like to ask you, Ian, is actually like, uh, what kind of a problem Gino Group is resolving and you know, what's your role in it? Okay. So first of all, look at the industrial uh, kind of, what's the challenge they are facing now? It's a lot of issue. You know, it's uh, regulations, a lot of new demand, new kind of regulation need, uh, for example, transparent of the supply chain and how can they really make sure they're transparent. This regulation requirement would immediately cause a lot of so-called contingent liability. If industrial do nothing, then they require increase a lot of liability and uh, risk in the regulation compliance issue. That's one thing. Another thing that, okay, there's a lot of the digital asset now that need to be really created. Uh, and it's already there, but it just need to be realized. So those two type of things. Therefore, Gino, while we're working with our industrial clients, you know, how can we enable this? Therefore, there's a room there, the calling this kind of the value added solution. Uh, so Gino was born because of that. So actually Gino comes as a, a solution of the problem, especially in the side of uh, transparency and uh, then as well tackling the legal aspect in accelerating your supply chain. Yeah, that's one thing. And also another thing that enable these uh, industrial clients to create a more of the real value asset. It, not only just to tackle their contingent liability or this cost wise, and also help them to release the more potential value, which I can explain a little bit more later. So uh, having that in mind, uh, uh, you, are, you are a member of uh, Digital Supply Chain Institute. So in that sense, in, in the area where you are trying to resolve the problem within supply chain. Uh, where do you see the organizations like Digital Supply Chain Institute can play a role in order to help you so your, your uh, technology and solution becomes you know, widely accepted? Yeah, Marco, you know, one thing inspired me a lot since a few years ago, you know, it's uh, what uh, DSEI promote kind of front side flip. You know, that's exactly what industrial need really to uh, realize that in the way, you know, think the way, how can the, the industrial clients to reshape their supply chain? Mm -hmm. And not because what they need is because industrial clients, they face their customer, you know, from customer side, what the customer demand. And in that way, then the calling for the solution. Uh, upstream. Therefore, I think uh, DSEI is, uh, has spent a lot of effort in, uh, in organizing uh, industrial kind of members to think again and again and uh, to explore the solution together. So Gino, in this way, I think he would love and uh, it's Gino's privilege to really to be part of the DSEI, uh, the family. Thank you very much, Ian, and, and it's um, really always encouraging to hear that uh, the notion of frontside flip and re-engineering your supply chain from the customer towards, let's say, the, the, the first mile and uh, your focus on resolving uh, certain parts of, uh, let's say, the value chain in that area is really uh, very valuable. So uh, in that aspect, uh, you have mentioned on the, our last members meeting um, the, the way of how Gino thinks about uh, tokenomics and then, you know, uh, creating a new val distributed value 
within the supply chain. So can you elaborate more on that? Because I think this notion is uh, very groundbreaking mm. and, you know, very new in this area. Okay. I can give you one of the examples, you know, think about everyone now. We, you know, travel a lot. Therefore, everyone has so-called marriage points, which airplane company would grant us, you know, which is something we earned. Okay. Uh, on the other hand, I, Ironically, you know, if you look at the airplane company, in their balance sheet, they never ever booked kind of liability in their balance sheet. So they grant these points to us, but they never booked that as a liability. So a few decades ago, U.S. Congress had a hearing about, hey guys, do you guys really take that seriously about what you try to deliver to make your customer happy or satisfied. Uh, okay, yeah, if you, anyone say yes, but there's no kind of uh, bookkeeping about this kind of liability that ensure you not forget. This creates another problem that the customer side also not takes that seriously. But it's a, it is something, a merit or asset. But the asset is disappeared. That's a, that's, a, that's a part. That's a kind of problem. So from that end, you know, let's think about, you know, I'm, one of my friends working for this model is this marvelous kind of achievement. Uh, and uh, improve a lot customer satisfaction by making sure this Mileage credit has the utility and the needs. But problem that inside the organization, you know, it's, this has created another problem that uh, these points ask all of the operational to deliver that as a real service. It's a substantial thing you need to deliver. But, you know, it's this, this things, how can they internally making sure this is kind of the commitment to customer. Okay, again, this is type of the asset disappeared somewhere. So now let's not uh, using the big word like, you know, it's token or something. That's just making sure these points is recognized, is recorded somewhere that with all kind of concerns with the trust from customer side and how can we really making that record in the ledger that everyone trusts feel confident this asset won't go away so therefore from that end let's think about the industrial side you know for example think about the automotive industry every year every OEM spend a lot of money for the branding they try to educate the customer, hey, trust my branding. You know, if you buy this car, that you will have wonderful customer journey. Everyone try very hard, spend a lot of money, try to convince the customer. But then they spend too much money in convincing customer, less money to deliver. This is something I think it's uh, need to be really improved that telling the OEM spending less money in, in branding communication, then shift a part of the spending towards the real delivery of a service. But how, you know, that's why, you know, that's why, you know, instead of just talking more rather than delivering more, then customer will have this participate in the branding communication. Customer will help the branding to be more, let's say, uh, uh, communicate through to the customer, to the, to the market. So this is something also remind me that kind of, you know, it's when we think about improve the supply chain, and this is something just from contingency liability side, you know, where you can improve the cost. 
However, on the side, using the new technology like a decentralized ledger technology solution, then build up this infrastructure. And also this infrastructure will help industrial clients to think more about how can they create kind of the a loyalty program that uh, making sure customer have the confidence. You know, whatever you did with the branding, you participate branding, you have participation, you are part of the branding story, then you have kind of confidence as 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 long as you are still part of the branding story as a customer, you will enjoy this benefit. So this is something definitely need to be uh, realized mm -hmm. and using the new technology. The old technology won't solve this problem. So this, that's why, you know, I talking is a kind of the a wording, the, maybe the buzzword, you know, called uh, Understood. tokenomics, but the reality is there's asset need to be re realized. Yeah, so, so actually you're realizing the assets for uh, the, the loyal ha and happy customers in both B2C and B2B world, uh, mm -hmm. and especially securing that that loyalty is rewarded in a right way yes. and also adding value to the overall supply chain, which yes. is really something uh, very unique and very innovative. So uh, we, we look forward, Ian, to, you know, having you again with us once things starts rolling out and then hearing about, you know, all the learnings which comes from the market. But so far, really congratulations on the, uh, the, the problem you have taken to resolve. It's a big one and uh, on the bravery, you know, to push it forward. So we'll be by your side to follow the progress and uh, thank you for being with us uh, thank today. You. Yeah. This has been another uh, DSEI Insights in Action. Thank you for being with us and stay tuned for more. Thank you. Thank you, Mike.